It's terrifying that they made it to fourth and fifth pick on blue side here. It truly is. It truly is. That's that's the danger of, you know, flexing so far into the draft. That's why I'm like, on four, maybe just snatch it up, take yeah. it away from them, uh, because the value of... Uh, of, of the mystery of your flex pick <laughs> yeah. really drops off when you get two power picks back there for Gen G. Maokai set up top laner, so much crowd control, just brings together these team fights, these objective fights for any team later on. And there's so much damage here in the rest of Gen G's comp uh, that that's all they need out of Doran is some CC. So um, Sejuani should have a pretty good time up there in the matchup, but. Of course, Peanut on the Graves, baby. Going to be playing off of uh, mid lane and bottom lane early on, most likely. And see what he can get done versus Closers Viego. Yeah, one of the, this is one of the champions uh, that got him finals MVP as well uh, year back there for Closer. So definitely should be respected along with his Lee Sin. Yeah, and this is not one of the champions that Peanut's been playing almost all year. Uh, since he joined, Gen G's been a lot more of that facilitator, like a lot of junglers have mm -hmm. this year. Um, but if you remember back to Nongshin Red Force oh. and LGD, that was <laughs> where, yeah, the um, Graves was definitely something that Peanut absolutely loved. Has already demonstrated that he's pretty good still at the champion. But Peanut here we are, ready to go. Peanut will always be a Rock's Tiger in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely will. I don't know, he's been on almost every single team. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, you could remember back to Longju, you could remember back to SKT. There's so many different options uh, for the variety of peanut that you're looking for. If you needed to buy a uh, peanut jersey for every single team he's been on, that is a lot of jerseys that you would own. As here I, we are, under the rift for Gen G versus 100 Thieves. I have no doubt that there are definitely peanut fans out there with oh, every 100%. single journey. Definitely has one of the most emphatic fan bases. Across. You could make a very large quilt out of all <laughs> of those jerseys, Kobe. Absolutely. But nothing really going to be happening as far as early game setups. So we're just going to be able to hang out here and chill. And you mentioned that the bottom lane, like the Aphelios Lulu, that always was something that was picked into the Lucian Nami. Yep. After, you know, the patch changes over the last few, is it still the same way or how, how are we feeling? Yeah, I mean, it definitely got weakened uh, much more on the Aphelios Lulu side with the nurse to Lulu. They're, they're pretty significant. So we'll, we'll see about the early stages and how much it changes there. Uh, still will scale, of course. Lulu is so good for you for later on in the game. Not only because buffing up your Aphelios later, but Lulu is also really good with melee carries like the Viego. And since Closer is a 100 Thief star, you know, when you have the, the Lulu ultimate to buff up that Viego, help Closer get that extra reset, just that last little bit that he needs. Uh, that can give you the hope for some of those team fights as well. So, see about who he keeping his positioning safe while also being able to support both carries. Yep, Peanut going for one of the oldest grave skin in, skins in the game, um, from what I remember. So that's uh, yeah. very exciting. That Been truly is. I feel like that is like what the first one that was released with him. This yeah, is, that was the one of the two release skins on Graves, right? And going the, way the other back. one was the the spaceman. Uh, mm -hmm. version. As Closer, he's going to be starting on his red, so uh, topside starts for both of our junglers. Possibly some uh, action in the bottom lane later yeah. on. Definitely, definitely as expected here. Pathing away from the tank-to-tank -tank matchup on topside. Skipping Krugs as well here for Closer, so he'll get down to that side a little bit earlier. Of course, there is this ward on the Raptors for Gen G. They just saw the timer for finishing Raptors, so they will have the Raptor timer of 100 Thieves as well as know that Closer has now transitioned to the bottom side of the map as they push in. Yep. So, now going to get pushed off this wave. Level 2 going to be gained here by Gen G. Early stages seems to be working out for Gen G so far. Nice little move here as well from Abadaga. Finds the Raptors are still there. Pina then passes the Raptors, skipping them so they don't know 100% where he is, but uh, you can definitely, by process of elimination, think that he's back on bottom side. Does avoid the for, uh, avoid the ward for now, though. Yeah, not going to be spotted. I do like, I, I kind of like the idea of heading down towards the Krug camp because it is something that we've seen a lot of junglers do on the other side of the rift, right? Move down and steal away that camp while still protecting your bottom lane. Not going to be a chance. Yeah. And yeah, they might need some protection here as FBI goes down to 50%. Kobe just uh, farming minions as he likes to do. I'm sure um, Twitch chat are letting us know exactly how much farming he does like to do. Yep, same thing. Main thing for Victor, trying to get uh, harassment while continuing to farm here. Uses the minion dematerializer there. He doesn't have any damage on that range minion quite yet to be able to, to secure it as well. But Chobi doing a good job on Silas. Trade your full health bar there. Push up the wave. Teleports right back out. 
uh, with the extra potion and control ward in hand. So worried about the early moves there from Closer. See which side, um, as Someday moves in here, pops the Scryer's Bloom and puts my favorite ward for top laners to be able to put. The Gromp ward. Uh, the Gromp slash blue buff ward. If you are a top laner in a pushing matchup up there, Jungler will be so happy with that one. Just going to help them, especially when you're playing against Graves. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason why we're talking about uh, Gromp wards and things like that is that there's not a whole lot of action outside of possibly here on the bottom side. Slahans has pushed up pretty, pretty far alongside Ruler, but not going to eventuate too much. So, the game is very slow. Kobe, and does that mean that it benefits 100 Thieves, or does it benefit Gen.G? We've got a fair bit of scaling on both sides. Gen.G have a comp that looks like there weren't any bans, but 100 Thieves do have a lot of late-game damage. Yeah, I mean, especially in the in the early levels here, there's, there's not really a big swing. And later on, too, uh, there's not going to be a huge difference there. It's going to be about how you operate in these fights, because they both have really strong win conditions here uh, through 5 on 5s as well. Ignite top there for Someday, though, on the Sejuani. Makes me think, hey, Closer probably want to make a, an early play. Viego is one of the best junglers to gank for Ooh. Sejuani. Bubble, who's just going to move forward. You can see Ruler trying to find this one out. FBI, he's just going to get dashed on first blood. Goes over to Ruler. There's the Polymorph eventually. And who he's actually doing a fair bit of damage back. But man, I think the damage has been done there towards that bottom side. It's going to be very difficult for 100 Thieves now. Oh, the damage has definitely been done. No jungler necessary there. Ruler just pops FBI. Double summoner spells blown. He got caught a little bit by surprise. It looks like there as they went in on Lehenz and put the ignite down. But Lehenz, just with the heal, backs off with Nami. Doesn't even have to flash. And the immediate cleanse from Ruler here, you'll see, he does not hesitate. They're going after Lehenz, so he just goes straight back onto FBI, able to cleanse off the purple gun root, dash in for the kill. Nicely done there by the Gen G bottom lane. And that just boosts this extremely scary lane already into an early serrated Dirk plus double longswords back for the Lucian. So again, you can just continue to dash in, take these trades onto FBI uh, and Huhi, and there's nothing that they can, can possibly do about it. With no summoner spells on FBI now, and of course those nerfs we talked about on Lulu in the weakened state, it's very sketchy. This is difficult. You can see Closer going to come down, see whether he can assist. Lulu with the wave in a difficult position here for 100 Thieves to deal with. Somebody going to trade back here, gets the permafrost onto the tree, but we don't really need to watch this matchup. It's going to be wet noodles um, <laughs> happening up there. Just There will be a lot of fighting, but just not a lot of results. Those no. foam noodles are fun to play with, okay? <laughs> foam they noodles definitely are definitely are. fun battles to watch. Well, Ruler is also going to get polymorphed and snared. FBI looking to try and walk this one out. Both junglers in the vicinity. Yeah, Not it's, it's just such a massive lead here, though. The kill was at a great timing as well for Ruler and Lehenz, uh, and been able to keep that CS lead that they've got over FBI and Huhi, so we'll be getting a very, very nice um, bottom lane control here to be able to push on in. Peanut joins as well. Yeah, a bit of a plate gank here towards the bottom side, seeing whether they can push this one far enough. Bubble not going to land. Yeah, really here for security because they know 100 Thieves are under a bunch of pressure. And a lot of times when your bottom lane is under this much pressure, they go, jungle, please help, jungle, jungle, come. And so, you know, he's, <laughs> he's there for the possibility of if Closer goes to help uh, because they win the 3v3 really hard. Uh, but I think some uh, some good caution there by the 100 Thieves. They don't want to force anything yep. out of desperation. And so Closer does not go into it. I don't think Lehenz Bubble is going this time around. Oh, the polymorph is fantastic. And it keeps Huhi alive. FBI with some decent guns. As Gen.G playing with fire a little bit. 300 health on Ruler. Piercing Light doesn't land. Still playing pretty far up this lane as the Sentinel goes down. So definitely looking worse, uh, <laughs> as we were talking about um, with the matchup. Ruler now has both summoners back up. So next time he gets polymorphed and they're close to the all-in. And just cleanse it off again as he did previously. Now he's got access to culling, actually. Oh, yeah, FBI. Oh, that is not really what you want to be prioritizing, but he does keep himself alive. Everyone on the edge of their seats here. Every last little bullet of culling damage there squeezed out. I Gen like that the, the turret was almost there in the way, but wasn't quite. Um, pretty close, though. 
Okay, they did not die. <laughs> Bottom lane is hanging by a thread for 100 Thieves. And so it leads to a very calm uh, map state here for, for Gen G. You know, Peanut uh, going in, clearing out the vision here on the Rift Herald. But since it is bottom lane recall timers they don't fully commit to it until they get this Lucian back out there because once ruler arrives with his noon quiver purchase stuff as well they'll be happy to take the five on five yeah he doesn't have shoes but he's got a whole lot of weapons as here it is five members of hundred thieves in the area they've already started off this rift herald as doran's coming round does have the ulti uses it okay, immediately oh. And now Peanut gets towards this Herald. The Glacial Prison comes down, but someday not a lot of support right now. As in goes Trovi, he gets Wild Growth immediately. In fact, he Wild Growths himself. But Genji, they're just going to be able to take the Rift Herald, force 100 Thieves away, and we don't have any more kills. Yeah, they just strong arm them off the objective. Again, the Maokai has so much value for these neutral objectives. On top of it, Doran also winning lane uh, up there versus Someday. So comes down, Maokai Ultimate sweeps across the map. They do catch someday. Don't take him down, but that's all they needed. Just catch him, chunk him out, take over the Rift Herald. This progresses the game plan for Gen G. Calmly control these oh, neutral yeah. objectives. Gravity Field comes down. There's the Chaos Storm as well. Trevi will take a fair bit of damage here, especially with minions also available. Decides to take the CS while he's tanking the entire Chaos Storm, but now he's going to walk away. Shovey's like one of those uh, storm hunters where he's going around chasing <laughs> tornadoes just to go to the center. Yep. I'm at the eye of the storm. Yep. Reporting in. I killed all the minions. It's fine. I'm gonna, just going to be gone. That was Twister, wasn't it, with Helen Hunt? I, was, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Shovey teleports in. Closer here. We'll be able to slink away. Does have some mist available. My hands just patrolling. And now Ruler dashing forward yet again. Has the culling available, so he will press. The R button, 300 health on FBI as a result, and Peanut will start off this dragon. Yeah, just just keep on marching forward here with Gen G. Push in bottom lane, get bottom lane advantage off of Culling. It's level seven to level five. With how often FBI has been forced back to base here by Ruler, dominating team at the top of the gold charts, as well as just securing his team, oh. easy objectives, and Abba has the flash. Oh man, that was pretty close, but still getting the flash. Definitely great news for Chovy. We'll be able to push that wave in yet again. But Abadaga has been playing really, really well today. And will now just be able to back away, holds onto his life, and still within touching distance uh, of the CS. Man, that thing is gone. Rift Herald will definitely secure first tower here for Gen G. They have been able to take Dragon, Rift Herald, Entire bottom turret plate. They got first blood for themselves as well. Can't ask for anything more yeah. from the LCK champs. And they've lost no plate gold at all on their side of the rift as well. Still a few minutes for that to be an availability, but this inner turret will also get charged. Shelly really putting her work in here today for this early game. And this is what you want to see from Gen G if you are hyped up and looking for their rematches with RNG at the end of the day and you're looking for those tiebreaker scenarios because Gen G cannot afford to drop any games. RNG are not going to do it before their rematch. Uh, so Gen G here taking care of business. Yeah, they absolutely have to. And Abadaga not going to get stunned by the Everfrost. Takes a fair bit of damage from the Chain Lash though. And Closer is in the area. Chovy not going to go in any further. But yes, we managed to get our best of three between JDG and Damon Kia, and we now want it between Genji and RNG. So definitely very important for the LCK first seed to yeah. be able to pick up all the wins that they can. They don't want to be relying on the Flying Oysters to beat RNG for their shot at the first seed. Yeah, and you're talking about all the other LCK uh, seeds, you know, sitting there with their with their first seed placings coming out of their groups as well. Yeah. Waiting for you to join so you can't get matched up against each other. Yeah, it's basically like... Genji just desperately trying to get first seed so that it's not two LCK seeds. We said <laughs> yeah, this yeah. earlier on. Of course, uh, Darmon already uh, not able to take down JDG, so therefore not in that first seed position. Doran might be in a bit of trouble here, but Hunter Thieves just going to come down and take away as many plates as they can. FBI definitely very happy to have that money. Yes, get some turret plates. Now, of course, as you can see in the mini map here or the picture in picture, traded. Top side, Ruler continues to farm off the swap. Just hanging out by himself. Here towards that top side, someday. Still looking for a bit more, but Peanut and Doran, not exactly to be trifled with. 
Did have uh, Hugi and FBI in the lane, so not going to push any further on the Gen G side. And Ruler may just take this. Um, Tower plate still available. Closer is going to have Peanut delivered to him. Jungle duel, let's go! Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. He can ult. He flashes to get himself out of the way. The heal comes through as well. Tidal wave is avoided there by Closer, but he's still not able to pick up the kill. Lehens to the rescue. Ah, oh, Lehens saves Peanut there in the 1v1. Peanut able to come out on top. Team diff right there. That is going to be another kill for Gen G. Everything Atlas has gone their way. Yeah, Actually, even looking at the perfect game thus far as well. I was about to say, weren't really keeping track of that one. It's very it's, early. It's the perfect <laughs> disc game as well, because if you don't manage mm -hmm. to take any turret plates as well, um, oh no, that actually requires you to take all of the turret plates. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. So not actually available. But uh, Red's my, it Red's my here doing a lot for closer. And then Peanut is always, you have to flash the uh, ultimate here from Viego. Closer fast flashes over the Nami wall from Lehens, but still not enough there against Peanut. Able to kite him back out. <laughs> I imagine that was yeah. Peanut saying thank you, and Closer saying you denied me the 1v1. It's just <laughs> not fair. That was a gentleman's agreement that was broken on the Peanut side. Doran, Abadog coming down. We'll find the tree. Probably not very killable. As Will is going to flash forward. FBI takes most of his health and there's the rest. The Gale Force, the Gale Force in afterwards for Ruler. So much damage just from this culling as well. And the relentless onslaught that is oh Gen G well, will Jumpy's not let up. Move in. Let's see whether he can grab the kill on the Lulu. No, decides to just steal our ultimate. Atlas, oh, why did I have to come up for this game? The last <laughs> one, the last one was so exciting. And now I'm just standing here watching the yeah. last NAC just get punched in the face over and over and over by Gen G. They are all business. I didn't try to do this, Kobe, I swear. Why must he hurt me like this, Alice? <laughs> no, Honestly, I, I though, the support, I promise. Ruler here, completely perfect combo, goes in with Lehen's buff right on top of him, finishes it off with the Gale Force there. Very, very scary. Now he has two and a half items, two and a third items. Can we call Serrated Dirk a third? Probably. A third. Oh, yeah. No, Serrated Dirk is actually one of the best, like, half items. For non-complete items, Serrated Dirk is massive, massive value there, uh, especially for a champion like Lucian, of course, and we've been seeing it with the power of these cullings. Yep. Really so benefiting two and a half. from it. Two and yeah. a half is what we're going with. So I give it, like, two scary. and three quarters. Either. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 2.75 item Lucian. <laughs> Uh, is the yeah. final tally. I'm glad we've sorted that one out. Rift Herald being considered here someday, having a look at it, but uh, not a lot yeah. of control of the map here for 100. I think it's actually up to you uh -huh. to start to feed me the copium. So give me some, like, objective bounty copium here for... Uh, for I, I, well, for you just gave it to yourself. There are objective bounties available. Yeah, yeah, so, so they're available. What 100 <laughs> Thieves have done here, Kobe, is that they've made sure that all of the plates have fallen. Uh -huh. Now yeah, the turrets yeah. are uh -huh. the easiest to take possible. They yeah, also yeah. have it, all it. of the turrets left, of, left remaining, and therefore maximum bounty gold yes. able to be taken. They're just waiting for their item spikes, Kobe. That's, yeah. what, that's what we're doing. How are Genji going to know where they're going to strike? They're not. That's, be that's the beauty of it. Well, wards might help with that, and I assume we're about to see some ward lines moving very deep because Genji have just taken the last outer tower mid lane down, uh, both top and bottom already down. So very easy now for them to move into the 100 Thieves jungle. You start to starve them of those camps. Rift Herald number two will be picked up first here right off the map. Clean this one before seeking out the last remnants of the 100 Thieves resistance. Here we are, brush play. <laughs> Um, this is actually at 17 minutes and 100 Thieves are just camping in this brush to see whether oh, they yeah. can possibly oh, find yeah. something. Chobi, oh, he was so close to walking in, but decided not to. Abba, uh, Abba, uh, act a little it. bit here. Yeah, he's looking juicy. Oh, he's oh. looking juicy. Immediately runs away, flashes out of the glacial prison. They get Chobi's flash, nailed it. Yeah, Chobi, Chobi has some good instincts there. He knew it. He popped his sweeper as he moves towards the brush. Gives him the little bit of an alert that he needs. He preps himself, he flashes the Sejuani ult, gets out alive. Still, flash down on Trovi's side. That's definitely step number one uh -huh. in actually killing him. Mm -hmm. Gonna need to do that. As many it's a pull down as possible. It is, <laughs> it is. You can't just do it straight off the bat. As Ruler and the Hens are pushed up to this inner turret, have been for quite some time. Closer and Abadaga are there as FBI. 
does have to get out of the way. I almost said Gale Force, but he doesn't have that available just yet. Mm. Now looking to just go home. Doran splitting here on the bottom side. Who is going to turn up? The rest of Gen.G not going to support the tree. Still quite early in this game. Three minutes until the next Drake. We've got Baron up in a minute and a half. Could be something that Genji look at um, relatively early in this one. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I think so. <laughs> Genji feel like they can look wherever they want. Closer oh, though. Yeah, Closer's gonna, gonna be the one to find Peanut here. Tidal Wave comes down though. Lahens always seems to be with his jungler. And now Rule is dashing forward one more time. Who he somehow dies. I didn't have my eye on him. But he just sort of disappeared. And now Doran gonna be flashing over the top. He has the oh, no! and FBI and smashes Sunday back. Into Peanut's waiting arms, the tree will die, and the perfect game dies with him. Genji probably not focused on that right now. <laughs> that fan right there. We are, there we go. <laughs> Boom! We're on the board, baby. Got one. Uh, Doran down. I repeat, Doran down. Honestly, Genji though. Whew. Okay, that 20 minute Baron you're talking about, Alex. Uh, yeah. This could be the game where they start it right up on spawn. Uh, we would definitely already see uh, some control words here placed in the jungle leading up to it. And uh, Peanut has just taken away the red buff on the backside as well. So prepping themselves already. Closer versus Peanut. Round two. Red smite in. This time, Lehens is there with not only the Nami wave, but also the heal on Peanut. So they charge backwards. Ruler dashes in. Oh, he got the auto. It was this just... Wow. He got the auto before the Lulu was able to flash out of range. And it was the passive buffed auto there with the double. It's rapid fire cannon. I know a lot of people were saying it's not a great item. It's a pretty good item. That's great item. Point. Yeah. Big range on that sucker. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then of course, the big 100 Thieves moment of the game, take down the Maokai that has flashed into our territory. Now, if at first you don't succeed. The resistance. Oh. Never give up, the never the surrender. Here we go. Uh oh, Peanut's on the way as well. It's unfair. 4v2, uh, 4v2. Yeah, Polymorph is going to come through there as Peanuts lost a lot of his health, but does manage to dash out of the way of the ulti. Might need to flash here, but no, Quick Draw is going to be available once again. And Peanut just walks it out. In the meantime, Genji just pushing minion waves here in the mid lane. Yeah, and, and as you can see, like th this is when you're so far behind like this, This is the these are the only types of play that you can go for. Because Genji are so far ahead, they're always going to push all three lanes here. And so you just choose one of those lanes as the losing team, Send everybody and hope you can get a pick. Both times they've chosen top lane. Maybe we mix it up now. We choose a different <laughs> lane, huh? They'll never see it coming. Well, we'll see. Uh, Doran's going to be an option. Um, there is now a Rift Herald here towards the top side. Closer yeah. is trying to clear out the wave. Not going to be able to do so. So this inner turret will go over to Gen G. That is an extraordinary, extraordinary gold lead for 21 minutes in this game. I'd even hazard to say that this is a shellacking, Kobe. Uh, yeah. FBI puts down the turret. It's not going to replace the one he just lost, though, is now. Twisted Advance comes through. Chovy will connect the chains. It's pretty easy to do so when someday is permanently CC'd. Genji will take the last remaining in him. Genji, all business, so focused. That's going to be the signal to go right over to Baron. Okay, 100 Thieves, the moment of hope here. You want to actually let Genji get the Baron low enough uh -huh. that you can go in and try and make them flip it. It's really hard to pull off that timing with without vision. They get a little bit of sight there. You just gotta go for it. Roll the dice. It's at oh, 3k. He's dead. The wild growth comes through, but it's not gonna be enough. Ruler just chases him down. But most importantly, Closer is still 2K? alive. The smite is still available. And now go to try the, the heartbreak. It comes through. He just dies before he can even get enough damage onto the Baron. It was a worthy attempt, but it didn't quite work. It's FBI man it found a ruler tries to turn around. A thousand gold. And the Evan Blue will pick up the kill in the end, but you're 100% putting worth in all chat right now. As Abadaga, he's uh, behind enemy lines, and Peanut is chasing him down, letting him know that it's his territory. And Abadaga does not care about it whatsoever. Doran's gonna have to come over, still in his pajamas, but of course, he's in his house, and now the teleport's Ooh. gonna come forward. Peanut wants to stop oh. in the bubble. They could have just let him go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they do get the thousand gold kill onto Ruler there from FBI. It is now legal for him to type AD carry diff. <laughs> smiley face. Yeah, you, as long as it has the As smiley. long as you have the smiley face afterwards. Otherwise, I would say absolutely. We'll, we'll allow it. It's 16,000 gold. Yeah, this, this, this game, Atlas, is like 
Genji loaded up into the practice range before their their games later in the day versus RNG, uh -huh. and they're just they're just practicing their aim right now. Boom, 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 all on point, not letting up for a single second. And here you see the discipline. They work down this Baron. They know that there's control ward in here, so Hundred Thieves have a blink of an eye where they can just charge forward. And Closer goes for it. Really, really close attempt, but Gen G, they take all their damage off Baron, stop it so that it's not low enough for Closer to ever get a smite off there. FBI then comes in with a big Infernum ultimate. Oh man, it was actually pretty close in the end there, but yeah. really nice positioning for FBI to be able to get that massive injection of gold. Now, can they just turtle up is going to be the question. The answer's probably no. Um, we don't want to deal out too much false hope, but still, they have to continue. This is a good start. As Doran's taking a fair bit of damage. Ruler is here, though, so I'd back away. Peanut turns up as well. Smoke screen goes down. Yeah. Meanwhile, all three lanes pushing in once again, Atlas. Yeah. Minions at these inhibitor turrets. Chovy moves over. Baron buffs these ones up towards mid. Topside already lost their turret. Ruler will be able to finish that one up, no problem. Inhibitor gonna go down soon. 100 Thieves! Oh my goodness. Okay, well, collateral damage flies through, but the Wild Growth is going to answer. There is still a minion left alive, and that means the turret is going to die. Ruler looking for someday. Tankiest member of the team, but Ruler is still cutting through him. Four items on this Lucian. Absolute, absolutely absurd damage is now Genji bearing down on the Nexus turrets. Can they find their avenue in to finish the game right now? Pre-25 minutes as Ruler just throws the culling in. The first Nexus turret goes down. Genji looking for the second now. Death Rays not doing enough work there. Look at the damage. The Polymorph comes through, but then Ruler immediately out of that one. Everyone on the fountain. The Nexus is ignored for now because Genji one more kills. Revenge for Ruler, who he goes down as well. It's a double, and then the Nexus explodes. Genji. What a shellacking from the LCK first seeds. Ruler and Lehens. Lucian Nami, instant answer there. I think that might be banned a fair bit um, as the tournament Flippity claps. <laughs> yeah, honestly though, they, they're full grind set mode, fully focused, finish this one up, look forward to the future. And did feel like 100 Thieves left so much out on the field in their game versus RNG, yeah. they were almost exhausted in this game. I think it's it's really, really hard to be expected to come back yeah. and perform to the same level once again after being that close to being able to take it against the team undefeated in your group. Of course, remember, that was when they were eliminated as well. I mean, this was not exactly a 100 Thieves set up for success in this particular game, but still an honorable effort on the day and being able to get the revenge against the Flying Oysters. Once again, North America, take a bow. They got a win to open the day. They had an exhilarating game versus RNG. Great effort here in week two. Yeah, and I actually, I really, really enjoyed that game versus